I'm Nancy Rabelais, and I'm the Executive Director and a Professor at Louisiana University's Marine Consortium. I came to LumCon in 1983, and at the time, there were instances, recordings of low oxygen on the continental shelf, and we also knew that the nitrate level was going up in the Mississippi River, and there was a strong linkage, and that began this long-term study. The focus for quite a while has been areas of low oxygen called hypoxia and often called dead zones in the Gulf of Mexico where there is not enough oxygen for a normal fish or crab to live and they flee the area or they die. The Gulf of Mexico low oxygen area is the second largest human caused area of low oxygen in the world. The activities that lead to the higher loads of nitrogen and phosphorus are driven by agricultural practices. All this work uh, is done in conjunction with the outflow, knowing what's in the outflow of the Mississippi River. So we have some very strong linkages with researchers in the upper part of the United States, in Minnesota and Iowa, Illinois, Indiana, that we work with on um, agricultural activities and how to improve them and also focusing on how things change or don't change and the response of the Gulf of Mexico to those changes. The solution is going to depend on both political will and social will. There are many smaller farms that are very willing to try more sustainable agriculture techniques to conserve the nitrogen and phosphorus keep it on the land where it belongs and uh, to keep it from getting into the Gulf of Mexico. The funding from the MacArthur Foundation um, is incredibly important right now as federal support for this research topic dwindles. It does give me more flexibility now.